Okay, we're back to the Artemis line. Now, my multi-tool is almost out. So we fill it with carbon. I'll keep some of the carbon here. But don't forget, cargo holds double the amount that the regular inventory holds. Um, I like to keep about 20 batteries on me at least. So I will get some ion batteries, even though I only have cold right now. So, 15, so we don't run out, 20, 20 ion batteries should be good for that ice shield. And the other shields, most of them take ion batteries also. Now we're continuing the Artemis line. So we head out, answer the communicator by pressing X, X, F. When I first reached out to the heavens, I had no idea what to expect. The beauty, the mystery, the adventure, the danger. And here we are, aren't we? Go to a hollow term terminus, upload your data, let's find each other, and communication. Use C to locate a hollow terminus. I hit C, give it a minute, and uh, there it is, in the lower right of the screen. Uh, okay. <laughs> We got scooped up by the space station. We should have got, I should have gotten further away. So we're going to, what's going on is we're going to go to a hollow terminus. W, relaunch. I think it was to the right of this. So we will, using the mouse, I turn it in W to go forward. Just moving a little, there we go. And space bar. We're at 44% on the pulse engine. So we need more uh, in the pulse engine. So we'll have to get more tritium soon. All right, I'm aiming a little bit low. So that uh, when I get near there, I can look around. I'll be leveled off instead of pointing towards the ground. Now, hollow termin terminus, uh, terminuses, termini are big. Hollow termini. So uh, there it is. Okay. There should be rings, I believe. There they go. When they turn green, you can hit E to land. E. So this is a radiation environment. We do not have radiation protection, I don't believe. So we'll take a minute here. Oh, we've been here before. I may need to get some kind of radiation protection before doing this. Let's try it. Where's that hollow terminus?
Hope we have sodium. I should have checked. The other option, if you don't have a shield or protection, uh, is to uh, refill. Hollow terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter. We will activate it. Tab. Refill with oxygen. And refill with sodium. Talk to Artemis's hollow projection. Have you triangul triangulated your position? Let me know when you're ready to receive some data. Confirm. Excellent. We're ready. Really getting somewhere. Hold on. I'll just... Hold on. I'll just... Artemis transmits some data of their own, a star chart showing the skies around their location. I don't have any equipment. I don't know where I am. I don't even know how long I've been here. So I've taken an old-fashioned approach. I've sketched the stars. You should find plenty of locals able to match our star patterns. My ship was nearby, so we can't be far apart. I'll patch my translator through so that you can understand what they're saying. You'll need to calibrate it first, but that should only take a few words. And communication. Good luck, or maybe see you soon. Artemis Translator. Let's get to the ship and see what, uh, what we need to do. First, let's focus on S to go down the ladder. <laughs> Hope you don't mind if I just jump. Uh, while we're here. Let's grab some... Dihedral jelly. We'll need that for launch. I see carbon. If I remember, these have carbon. I always like to have plenty of carbon. And some ferrite is always good. All right. I got a terrain manipulator. All right. Um, the geode that gave us pure ferrite. Pure ferrite comes in handy. The crystal fragment, E to analyze. Storm crystal is worth, now that's fortunate, look. Storm crystal is worth 129,150 units. Since I only have 774,000, that will put me over a million just by selling that storm crystal. I would also like a radiation um, shield protection uh, if I can get one. All right, we need the Artemis translator. Let's put it here since that doesn't benefit anything. Oh, I have the copper and the microprocessor already on me because it requires one microprocessor and 100 copper for the Artemis translator. So I click it to build it. Click these, left click. I think I said right click in my other, one of my other videos by accident when I meant left click, sorry. 
Now I hit escape, go to the log. Um, the top one is the Artemis path. Words can be learned by speaking to alien life forms or by investigating their ruins and other sacred places. Find alien life forms avoid, aboard space stations or in various planetary buildings. Explore to locate ruins and other ancient monuments. Okay, so Z, I'll put my signal booster down. I'm going to explore a little bit here. E... Click, please select navigational task, locate nearby structure, planetary radar sweep initiated. We're going to work on the translator, but uh, we're going to explore a little bit while we do that. And we need this on our scanner. Got four of seven species. Where was that? Okay, I hit the F key, E to highlight that. Let's head there. Now, sometimes they're abandoned, the transmission towers. And uh, sometimes, I think they're, it's a building, sometimes there's somebody there. I'll land uh, where the rings are. E. When I get out, I'll get a resource or two. G. <laughs> Mining B. Okay. Let's go this way. I need an Atlas Pass, that's for sure. Um, so, an Atlas Pass is in my list of things to do. That's a navigation data. Are those oxygen plants? Uh, use C to scan. Just get an idea of what's around you. Once they walk away. Read Encyclopedia E, and uh, you learn more words that helps calibrate the translator. You'll need milestones, I believe, to go along the Atlas path. I think you have to get a certain number of milestones. I have completed the Artemis path once now. So I know what I'm, I know a bit about what I'm doing on here anyway. Eh. Well, I don't really have the inventory space. We can get rid of it later. You can always use more ferrite. When you start building, you're going to need a lot of it. Uh, pure ferrite. I like the prefabricated structures. Hey, E to check stock transfer. Uh, 600 units. Extract nanites. 47 nanites. Okay, now let's head into that state. Uh, well... The covered area I saw... Oh, here, let's get the... We did the machinery. Uh, I saw it had an, a box, a, one of the red. I'll call them ammo boxes. 
They're also, you see my radiation protection going up. Okay, ammunition. I don't think I have, no, I don't have a gun in there yet, but keep the ammunition. You'll need it later, I think. I hit F just to see if there is a nearby buried technology module. There are often te uh, technology modules close, so I'll put it on the terrain manipulator. If there's a really close technology module, I will grab it. Also gives me some silicate powder. And I will shoot around where I think it is to get some extra silicate powder. And you notice my radiation is not going down down here. Okay. Switch it back to the mining beam. Now we will look for the door of the building. There's a light there. I suspect the door is up there. I'll go through this. We already got this, right? Yeah, so we should know that the door was here. <laughs> okay, there's no alien here. So I don't see him anyway. Grab some carbon if the pots let us take some. Okay. Did I pick up the signal booster? Yes. Long ago, it seems an automated distress call went unanswered. If I can crack the encryption pattern, I could potentially extract the coordinates. One, two, six, twenty-four, a hundred and twenty. One times two is two. Two times three is six. Six times four is twenty-four. Twenty-four times five, I believe, is a hundred and twenty. So 120 times 6, that would be 720. So let's input 720. And we get the distress signal coordinates. E to highlight it. Let's head to the distress signal. Now we have to calibrate this translator. We got 33% from getting that word in that building. We will pick we will pick up the word as we're going along here. I am there's a lot of places where you can get the languages. W to take off. Okay. If I go up, heading in the direction that I want to go, shift key, left shift to go a little quicker. Once the map pauses here, see it pause? Now point it down. Put the circle on it and hit the space bar. You'll get there in a few seconds. Arrive in 10 seconds. I'll hit the W and go a little slower. The S to slow down. Uh, thinking about which way I want to approach this. I'm heading to the side so I can turn in that direction. This thing looks a little longer this way. So I can decide how to land. Uh... E to land. 
Looks like a fighter. All right. I'm going to skip that ball for a minute. You see the problem? Let's move the stuff to the starship. So... Or get rid of the slime altogether. I told you at, at early on, these take up too many inventory slots. E on the photon cannon module. Uh, that sounds interesting. We'll look at that in a minute. Condensed carbon. Damage container. Let's move the rusted metal to the starship. I use F to glance at this. It's a C class worth four million. It will give us about a million if we turn it in at the space station. And uh, we need to get the language there anyway. Let's check the inventory. I have no slots. Let's, um, the photon cannon module. I have a photon cannon with no upgrades. Let's do this. Let's get rid of the viscous fluid, get rid of the living slime. Let's move the uh, rocket launcher, which I'm considering breaking down. Put the photon cannon here. Now it's an A-class photon cannon module. So I'll go to technology. Now it's you get some kind of bonus, I think, if they're next to each other. It's good to move them around to see what the different bonuses are. Um, damage potential, 86. Put that down. Damage potential, 87. Okay, slight improvement on the photon cannon and we have one inventory slot here let's move the rusted metal on top of what's in the starship two inventory slots i have 250 plus seven ferrite dust but only 28 carbon so take the carbon actually put it on the mining beam Okay, so inventory management is part of this at the beginning. Put the ferrite dust together on the cargo. Carbon and ferrite are the two most important than dihydrogen. Now, by going in and out of the ship, we save the game as well. The distress beacon find out what's up. The interior of the down craft is a patchwork of technologies, possibly scavenged from multiple ships. The portly corpse of a dead beak life form sprawls on the control panel. Clearly, the deceased had a penchant for the finer things in life. The cargo hold is secured by some kind of homemade security system. Like the rest of the ship, it's a mishmash of technologies. Deactivating it could be tricky. Um, let's search the pilot as, uh, I want technology right now. A decomposed grub-like crustacean and an exosuit tech proves my reward. After the exertions of heaving the bloated corpse off the controls, hazmat gauntlet. Okay. Now, E on the ship. Compare. Claim ship. E to go in.
The efficient thrusters will give us a jelly, a tritium, and a wiring loom. So I click the middle mouse wheel and move that uh, wiring looms cost about 25,000 units and we'll need them a lot. So I would save the wiring loom. What do we need for the hazmat gauntlet? Um, and the oxygen recycler would be nice too. We really don't have the inventory space for that though. Um, okay, let's put this stuff. Oh, actually let's, can we repair, let me repair some of this first. The pulse engine needs a her hermetic seal. So we have enough condensed carbon from opening the containers and we need a metal plating. We've been gathering ferrite dust. So if we click the pulse engine, we can repair it. I generally repair the launch thrusters. Now we need pure ferrite. Let's go out. Z, place the refiner down. We need 50 pure ferrite, so we need to put 50 ferrite in there. See, we're almost out of ferrite already. That's, that's why we need to gather. Begin. What else can we do here? We have the dihydrogen jelly. Okay. Take the pure ferrite. We get back the carbon that's left. Uh... See, we needed those inventory slots. Let's repair the launch thrusters. Now, if you look at the ship, it's not damaged anymore. Let's drop off whatever we can in our other, in our other ship. Open up as much of our inventory spots as possible. So, um, and I'll take the storm crystal as I will sell that. I'm going to keep on me what I'm going to sell at the space station. Um, I'd like to keep the wiring loom. Uh, Certainly want to sell the rusted metal. We'll keep 500 copper. We'll sell the rest. We'll keep a stack of copper. Uh, I'll keep the salvage data. I like to keep the navigation data. Uh, you never know when you'll need a microprocessor. I like to keep uh, those on me. And uh, we don't need the ammunition right now, but we will. Col we're collecting it. Um, oh, the tritium. Uh, didn't I get 50? Yes. So we can put that on the starsh in here. Um, can we open up any more? Oh, I should have used the uranium launch thrusters. Put the uranium on that. I still have some, unfortunately. All right. 
Um, recharge, oxygen. Just seeing if there's anything else I can open up. Any other spots. We know the multi-tool, are they're both full. Nothing over 250 here that I could use the cargo for. I'll move two items to the technology. So let's move the life support there as uh, I don't use that as much. That opens up some inventory spots. Okay, I think we have done about the best we can do here. Go out. Go to the ship that we got. Let's head to the space station. I'll show you how to salvage this. I see the diamond, there it is. So E and space bar. You follow the hexagon to determine where the entrance is because the hexagon sits in front of the entrance of the space station. Therefore, the entrance is exactly on the opposite side at the top here. You see the blue? W. All right, first we're going to sell the stuff to open the inventory slots. We'll talk to an alien or two to calibrate the translator. I use shift to go quicker. Um, the journal is, I'm going to unpin that formula. All right, and it's back to calibrate. Talk to this guy. Friends smell is. From the moment I entered the room, I could smell this geck. I do not believe a more alluring scent has ever entered my nose. It feels inevitable that I, that I approached like fate itself had pushed me to this moment. Request dialect help. The geck tilts their head from side to side as they consider me. They consult a note on their data pad, then present a list of language symbols. Now the geks like to trade. I don't see trade. I'll take a geck symbol. While I'm here, I'll do this guy a second time. Uh, they repeat the same message. I, oh, I cannot request dialect help, but I can practice language skills. Um, he presses his fingertips together eagerly. I hurry up and think of an appropriate word to say. And I'll say trader as they like trading. He seems thrilled at the opportunity to flaunt his wealth. He gives me a gift along with the wink. Okay, I get a spark canister. We'll sell that too. All right, let's clear some of our inventory. Um, is there a Corvax here? I don't see any Corvax, so we will sell the Convergence Cube. 13,000. Spark canister, not much. I don't need the uh, nitrogen, just 11 of that. 
Um, I filled my terrain manipulator. I'll sell the little bit of powder I have to open up inventory. Storm crystal, 129,000. Rusted metal. I decided to sell the copper. We have 500 on the ship, so we'll keep that. I could probably sell some of the carbon to open up inventory slots. How much do we have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think 10 slots roughly is enough to salvage a ship. So we'll head over. You saw when I hit the tab key that I'm on the damaged ship. So we can be certain that we are not salvaging our original ship. We are salvaging the damaged ship. E, you can see the picture of the, the damaged ship. The target, the drones deployed to target ship, a Hocus Calculator 3. Available operations upgrade class or melt ship into scrap. A claim scrap worth more than one million. Okay, all the cargo will be destroyed. Confirm. I will confirm. The salvage drones are deployed. It will be immediately processed for scrap. Salvage components will be added to my exosuit. Now, if I tab exosuit, you see that my inventory spots, there's a couple left open. These two C-class modules, let's go to this guy, E. Click purchase. Then go to sell. I will sell, uh, I will get 57 nanites for the photon module and 60 nanites for the cyclotron. I don't have many inventory slots anyway. Now that planet was radiation, right? Because we got uranium there. So let's buy a, a radiation protection module. Because we don't have one of those. So let's... Here's the module. E to install it. And it's another ion battery run item. Now, we have to sell the piping and the, sub, the stuff we got from scrapping the ship. And we have a storage augmentation for the radiant pillar. So as long as I'm using the radiant pillar, I'll throw the augmentation in there. Okay, so now you see the radiant pillar is up there. Upgrade starship. Apply augmentation, and that gives us another storage spot on um, the radium pillar. Now let's go sell the scrap we got from the ship. I use the uh, left up arrow to run a little quicker. All right, let's talk to this guy. We haven't talked to him yet. Three, whatever he's saying. The Gek barely regards me as I approach. They're clearly expending a great deal of mental effort, concentrating. They sway gently, miming delicate finger movements. I request dialect help. He babbles, merchantinings, whispering symbols in my mind, with a delicate pheromone. Now, I know uh, they like trade. I don't see that option. So I'll take mystery symbol. He teaches me a word of his language. And now my calibration is at two-thirds. 
roughly. So I hit E again with this guy. While I'm here, I might as well use the dialogue option with him as well. Okay, so he's concentrating. It repeats the message, practice language skills. I recall some words that I've learned. We're going to use trade again. He perks up at the sound of that because we know Gex like trade. And he presents me with a gift. Leave. And I got a battery. I can sell that as well. We also waited a little while to see if a ship landed. And it didn't. So now we'll go back to the store. We got a milestone, met 10 aliens. Sell, activated indium from the scrapping of the ship for 202,000. We're now over a million. The sub, sub, subatomic regulators for about 800,000. Reinforced piping. Once useful springs. The industrial grade battery is worth about 5,000 here. All right, so I have almost 2 million now. Let's finish calibrating. Uh, trade my spawning to me, I... He appears tired and frantic, trying to draw me into some kind of transaction. I request dialect help. He yelps with excitement, hireling high tank knee. He presents a data pad displaying a list of language symbols. Okay, I take the trade symbols since they like trade as a priority. Go back to him. Trade my spawning to me, I. He's trying to draw me into some kind. I practice language skills. Thinking through some geck words, I'm confident pronouncing. I use trade with him. He's thrilled to flaunt as well. He gives me a gift. Leave. Star silk. I'm not going to carry it with me because I don't have inventory slots. I'll just take whatever I can get for the star silk. Keep my, so it's about 5,000. Okay. That should have calibrated the translator. Uh, a milestone. I earned a million one hundred and thirty thousand five hundred and sixty nine. I'm an investor. That's level seven there. Tycoon earned one million nine hundred and twenty three thousand eight hundred and seventy six. That's Tycoon is like level nine. And my objective complete. So it takes a minute to load. Calibrate the translator. Uh, how long have we been recording here? What do you say we go on? Um, so C to locate an alien outpost and find a life form to speak with. Shift to go a little faster. All right, the radium pillar is now a little bit improved. We have one more inventory slot in here. I need, um, I have enough tritium, I guess. Okay, let's use, let's use C, pointing it away from the planet. Large outpost detected. I'm using the left shift key to go quicker. 
I'm pointing myself toward the outpost. Is there just one? Let's let's do this guy. Left mouse key to fire. I'm following him. Uh, let's go to these four things here. All right, and head down to the the outpost. We can trade what we got. So I use destroyed five ships. I'm now a novice. Spacebar to warp. Now we have the radiation protection, so it'll make this planet a little easier. I like to aim a little bit below so I can um, look at where I'm going and make a decision. So, <clears throat> whoops, S to slow down, W to go a little quicker, S, D to straighten, D and A and D to straighten it out a little bit, S. I think that's, where's that at? Okay, that wasn't it. You see a space station? Ah, there it is. So you look around a little bit because it's not the exact location that they give you. E to land. I am looking and I notice the containers on the other platform. If I tab, I can sell the lemium. I think the starship's close enough, but is there anything else that I want to sell? Uh, the pure ferrite. I'm going to, I want at least two inventory slots here. I'm going to move that to my guy. So we'll sell the Lemium. I know what's going to happen since I've done this before, but uh, I will... Uh, you see the symbol above the guy? That's the guy we need, but we'll wait a minute. Let's sell the Lemium for 47000 And we saw some containers notice that there's a box up there for the radiation now we have some radiation shielding magnate earned 2 million 32,000 units that's 10 stars we can immediately sell the rusted metal search. Got another ion battery that will replace the one that we're using. Condensed carbon, useful for making hermetic seal later. And nothing found in that. These can be used to call your starship here. So if you're exploring and you find a space station, you can use a navigation data to call your ship. All right, let's sell the rusted metal. That guy waving at me. And let's speak to the guy. Oh, friend. Get trade protocol forbids transactions with beings of unknown credit history. Through the garble of Artemis Translator, it's clear that I am yet to make an impact among the Gek. I need to improve my reputation, Mark. Leave. 
All right, let's see if I can improve it speaking to these people. Let's speak to this person. Exporter is friend. The little alien fid fidgets, impatient. I request dialect help so I can learn a word. He, w he wisps symbols in my mind with a delicate pheromone. I take a gex symbol. If I don't get trade, he teaches me a word of his language. Uh, let me move back a little bit and go E on him again. Uh, Gek, yes, Gek is friend. The little alien fidgets now practice language skills. I recall some of the Gek words that I've learned. I use trade. Impressing exporter lab in the hope of impressing him. He's inspired by this word and begins to give a complicated lecture on trade strategy and market timing. They carry on for several minutes, seeming to take great pleasure in this subject. Leave. And my standing is increased by one. I need one more. Let's speak to the broker. Gex scent is two. I'm certain I've seen this strange life form watching me, tracking my movements. They glance up at me innocently enough. I request dialect help. I always learn words if I get a chance. He Broker F. Jog yelps with excitement. and pr He presents this data pad displaying language symbols. I don't see trade, so I go for the Gex symbol. Teaches me a word. Then I click on him again, and Broker Afjog says, Gex sent is two. All right. And then I practice language skills. I inhale, thinking through some of the Gek words I'm confident of. There's the word Gek, units, and synthetic Gek. I'll mention units since that seems to deal with trade. He seems thrilled at the opportunity to flaunt his wealth. He gives me a gift along with the wink. All right, self-repairing heridium. Go in here, go to sell, and clear it, my inventory. I should probably keep it to get more, but oh well. He's visited. All right, let's try secretary wh whoever. A uh, boom must. Friend you, friend Gek. All right, I'm certain I don't know this Gek, yet meeting them now, I'm overwhelmed with a sudden affection. A wave of bittersweet nostalgia sweeps over me. I request dialect help. Uh, Secretary Boomus tilts his head from side to side as he considers me. They consult a note on their data pad, then present a list of language symbols. Of course, I want a trade symbol. Go back to the guy. Friend, get. I'm certain I do not know, yet meeting them now, I'm overwhelmed with a sudden affection. Practice language skills. Presses his fingertips together. I think of an appropriate word to say. I'm going to say trade again, because I know they like trade. He responds enthusiastically, happy to be recognized as a master straight. They share a little bit of his wealth. I got 900 units. All right, I need to raise my standing. Let's, let's try this out. Let's get the signal booster. And let's locate a nearby structure.
Use E to highlight it. Pick this up. Is there anybody I haven't talked to? There's... Visited. 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 All right, let's see if we can work on this another way. Uh, did I go the wrong way? Yeah, there's three of them here, so I need to do something else to raise my Gex standing. Now, this is suggesting the mission board and the space station. But there's other ways to, to do this. I have four of seven fauna. I have some waypoints here. Let's continue to uh, research this planet. Let's, we'll go to the ancient ruin. So I head into the sky. Wait for the pause. Then target and space bar to warp. I like to aim a little below the place. Now in the ancient ruins, we need to find usually three keys and we'll get a relic. Then we'll go to maybe the space station or, I don't think I've talked to everybody at the space station. So we could probably get, um... oh no, there's something else here, hmm. All right, well, let's eat a land. I land in, I'm landing by the steps. All right, I don't think you spend any launch fuel when you leave a landing dock like that. Press E on the Gek plaque. I convulse as I reach out and touch the beautiful stone marker, my mind filling with a deadly knowledge of the true history of the Gek, where the masters of the galaxies, the overlords of the cosmos, each foe will submit with bended knee to the almighty Gek dominion. We are the first spawn. Look upon our works in despair. I'm going to seek help with language. Uh, well... <sighs> I'll do knowledge of the past. F and E to highlight that. Let's use the knowledge stone while we're here. There should be three of them, I believe. Now I'm going to fly in a little bit. There's another one. That's two of them. Okay, I thought there was a third one, but maybe I'm wrong. use the F key just to see what's around here. Oh, well. I thought there was three of these.
he's looking at me. Oh well, let's head out to the ruin. Sorry about that. I'm going to land a little bit away so that the the starship does not get in the way of doing stuff. So here. We are getting to getting to raising our thing. So G to switch to terrain F. Artifact fragment. Okay, terrain manipulator. And there it is. We get a key. Okay, notice we're not losing losing anything while we're underground. Hit F. Ignore I ignore the gravitino balls as uh this one's 60 away. I'll eat a highlight it. Because the sentinels will chase you when you grab the gravitino balls. So if I'm going to get chased, I want to be ready to leave. It means I need to finish this first. Get a little more of the silicate powder while clearing the area. Get key number two. We need three keys. Hit F again. 58. And here it is, E. That makes three keys. F, I'm looking for the container while I'm down here. Large artifact crate. E, that's where we're headed. We have three keys. Here's the crate. No, it's not the crate. I don't mind clearing a little extra to get more silicate powder. Here's the crate, E. Three keys. Case of contaminated armor. That's worth about 150,000 units. Okay, now let's go to the space station and sell this. Keep our inventory. Now, can we grab a gravitino ball while we're doing this? There's the ship. There's one up there. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. E. And 
Shift key to run quicker. E. W. They are chasing us. Stay close to the ground. Do not go to the outer space. Heading a little bit, I think, in the direction of the space station. We have 20 seconds while the sentinels look for us. Ten seconds while the sentinels look for us. Space station is this way, but I'm staying close to the ground. And the sentinels are no longer looking for us. E. Oh, it thinks I'm on the planet. Now that the sentinels are no longer looking, you can go into outer space. By the way, that gravitino ball that I grabbed, that's worth 40,000 units. So, space bar. You know what? Let's shoot a few rocks while we're near here. Get a little bit of tritium. You could see the entrance to the space station. All right. Shift key. Let's see. Trance, uh, if you find the tubes on the planet, sometimes the specimens will give you a point. There's all different ways of get increasing your standing. All right, so this, the arm, the, what we got at, as an artifact at the site, for 145,000. The Graventino ball for 40,000. So that's about 180,000 total. Now, this is visited. This geck was visited. This geck was visited. This geck was visited. This geck was visited, not visited, E. See if we can get a standing out of this guy. Can a geck trade Federation, you friend? 
The Gek stares into my visor and clicks their beaks in time with my breathing. I can only assume that this is supposed to make me feel welcome. Okay, first I'll get dialect help. Merchant Ragarv presents a list of symbols. And uh, I'll take a Gek symbol since he doesn't have trade. And then I'll practice language skills. I'll use trades as that's a favorite word of theirs. He's happy to be recognized. All right, that did not give me a point. Oh, here's another one to speak with. Thank you for walking over. Oh, friend, this is Hireling Jada. The get glances at me, but they are clearly preoccupied, struggling to control themselves, alas, desperately trying to escape. All right, I'll get dialect help. Um, trade symbol teaches me a trade word, offer. Okay. And then uh, practice language skills. And I'll do money. Neutron microscope. Okay, we'll sell that too. Um, I believe they're all visited now. All right. Five stars, fluent, learn 20 words. Okay, mission agent. Let's go to the mission agent. Deliver an item. Level one Gek mission. I get one Gek standing. All right, let's take this mission. The client has an important shipment to make and seeks a trustworthy courier. The client's supply of this particular item has been dwindling. This is the final specimen. The client wishes the delivery to be made with the greatest of care, but also the utmost speed. The courier will be supplied with one defense chit in case of pirate attack. Start mission. Mission in progress. Deliver the goods. Oh, I have to consult the Galaxy Map X to do this. Do I have hyperdrive fuel? No. See, I need antimatter housing, antimatter to make warp cell. Oh, it has 40%. It's my thrusters that are out. Oh, well. I'll put the uranium on there. Now, what is this defense chit that this guy was talking to me about. To support from the system authorities in dealing with pirate attacks. Okay. Um, let me save the game. W.
All right, I'll do X. X. Arrow over F. Now you see there's a gift on the Kizawachi system. Let me arrow to current mission. Why it's switched, I don't know. W to zoom in here using the A, D, S, and W I move around. We are 719,970 light years from the core, by the way. And I left press with the mouse and I stay pressing with the mouse on the left to warp. So we're going to perform this one mission, then we're going to use the space station there to warp to the other space station. We'll do a few things here. Let's do the mission first. That's a priority. See the gift? Is on this planet. A warp. See to scan the planet. I don't see what it said. Oh well. I guess we're gonna find out what this planet is like in a minute. Oh good, it's on a station, so. This should be relatively safe. Hit E to land in the green area. Delivery terminal accessed. The client's secure lockbox will handle all the scanning and other administrative tasks. All I need to do is hand them over. Deliver item. I still have the defense chip. Are there any drop boxes while we're here? Uh, F. Let's scan this. There are some drop boxes. How come our health is not going down? We'll need to look at this planet. I might want a base here. We will go to the space station in this system. 
we will get an inventory slot. Let's see, this planet, F to upload those. Regular patrols, infrequent torrents. That's uh, a pretty nice planet. So I would say um, Na is sodium. I think Cu is copper. And uh, so let's click to name this. I'll call it nice. Um, storms, though, it has sodium, facium, and copper. Um, conflict level one, well, we already know, so left to accept all right let's head to the space station for the system See the scan. Now, why can't I see? There it is. The space station would be that diamond on the map. So, this way. Okay. There's the entrance. We'll do a couple of things here. I'm going to go on this side, use the ship to go a little quicker, because if you go in a new system, you get another exosuit upgrade option. I'm going to add one to my cargo as the cargo adds double the inventory spot. I'll keep carbon, ferrite, and dihydrogen in there. Let's glance at the multi-tool here. Uh, let's compare. I have 2,200,000, they want 2,600,000, but uh, that's a decent multi-tool, better than what I have, and it's got some inventory slots. Now, are all mission agents alike? because it's directing me to the mission agent here.
Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to right click to leave. And to save time, I'm going to go... Go to the previous space station. We need the Gek standing for this. This system has four planets, two moons, conflict level one. It's promising, so I think the economy is two. And it's a Corvax system. And uh, it has a nice planet in it. So let's rename that. Um, nice P to say it has a nice planet. There are four P, uh, four planets, two moons. Conflict one, economy two, and it's Corvax. We'll save that. Okay. He's keen to offer me missions and rewards. Hand in missions. I left click to deliver. I get one Gek standing, which I needed. And I'll right click. Now we return to the alien life form. We now have a defense chit, which means the authorities will help me with pirate attacks. And so delivering items gives defense chits. If you don't want to deal with pirates, that's if you can't run away from them, that defense chit, they'll come and attack the pirates with you. That's my understanding. W. I discovered a planet, a system, got some credits. And let's warp to this. Shift key to go a little quick. S to slow down. E to land. Now let's talk to the guy. As I approach, their beak begins to click, a strange gas issuing forth. It's unclear if Artemis translator is working. Notice the um, ask for information is going across the screen. So I will click that. That's what it wants. Asking for information about the star system. He shakes his head, disappointed in me. I try to resist smelling the gas, but the odor permeates my exosuit vent. 
even my life support system. I'm filled with an overwhelming desire to purchase things. I will offer him units for information. I offer the units to the Gek, repeating my request. The Gek smiles. They appear to have found the entire exchange amusing. In exchange, they offer to decode the star chart for free. Strange behavior for first greeting friend. Trade Federation, pleased to establish new customer. Friend, please pass me the data for examination. I give him the star chart and ask the life form to decode the star chart and provide a route to Artemis's location. He says, your data appears to be fabricated. No such location exists. Now, if I ask him if he could have made a mistake, <clears throat> my standing will go down by one. He'll get offended. So I'll, I'll thank him and leave. It's a pleasure to do business with you, friend. Okay, now I'm going to need to return to space to bring Artemis the news. I will do that in the next episode, Lord willing. <laughs>